Dr. Scott here at Interactive Health Clinic and today I want to go over allergy testing because allergy season it is almost here so we need to do something about it now before we enter uh, you know full-fledged allergy season and start getting all those really bad symptoms so before we go into the testing I want to go cover the immune system very briefly and give you an analogy so picture the immune system as this big hornet's nest okay if we're not poking at that nest, the bees are fine. They're just flying around, they're doing their thing, and they're good. However, when you start to poke at it, what are those what are those bees gonna do? They're gonna they're gonna go all over the place, they're gonna sting you, they're gonna they're gonna cause a lot of symptoms. So our immune system is just like that. If if our if we're not adding a lot of triggers and, and, and insults to our immune system, we're good, it's not gonna be super responsive, it's not gonna be causing issues, it's gonna be fine. But it's once we start poking at our immune system, now it's going to react to, to things that are typically harmless, like pollen, and we get allergies. What are the things that can poke at that immune system? Some really important things to think about are going to be food sensitivities, and particularly IgG and IgA food sensitivities. and when you go to your allergist, they will just look at IgE, which is gonna be more of that immediate type re reaction to food that you eat, or they'll also look at IgE to you know pollen or to, to mold. So that's helpful. However, it doesn't give us the full picture. So we also, what we do is we will look at food sensitivities to I IgG and IgA antibodies to a whole bunch of different types of foods and spices. Because if you are eating something every single day that you are making an antibody to, if you are, your body is reacting to that particular food, that is what is poking at your immune system. And now it's going crazy like that bee's nest that we've been poking. And then we, we're like, oh, Paul, let's attack that. And then we get symptoms, we get sneezing, we get runny nose, we get asthma, we get all these really bad allergy symptoms. So. The, the key then is to reduce the things that are going to poke at our immune system. And one of the best ways we can do that is to do testing. So not only can we look at IgE uh, reactions to mold and to pollen and to foods, but we can also do blood work to look at your food sensitivities, your reactions to food, looking at IgG and IgA antibodies. So we need to get this full picture so we can help you as best as we can. And we can also look at some other blood work like histamine levels in the blood. And we can also look at um, matrix metalloproteinase number nine or MMP9, which is a great way of telling us the histamine level in your body and your blood. Okay. So Moral of the story, we need to reduce the amount of things that are poking at our immune system so we can, our immune system can calm down and stop attacking the pollen and the other things in our environment, all right? And if you wanna learn more about our interactive approach to personalized medicine, please go ahead and give us a call or go to our website at interactivehealthclinic.com, all right? Take care and I look forward to speaking with you soon.